My name is Professor Schmidt. I wanted to talk to you about large corporations giving money for uh, charities and for special programs uh, that do good. Um, and the fact that a lot of those companies may be giving that money um, because they've been doing some things that are not so good, so um, kind of making up for uh, mistakes. Um, we have an article in the uh, Wall Street Journal, certainly the Wall Street is one of the most um, respected newspapers in the world, and it deals with Facebook and talks about the uh, privacy on Facebook. Uh, Facebook has been transmitting uh, personal identification um, to um, providing access to people's names and their friends' names to many advertising and internet tracking companies and so on. Um, the issue affects tens of millions of, of Facebook app users, including people who set up their profiles to Facebook's strictest privacy settings and the practice breaks Facebook's rules and renews uh, questions about its ability to keep identifiable information about its user activity secure. This has been a really serious problem because um, People expect privacy. Facebook has been saying, um, well, you know, everything that you have on Facebook belongs to us at Facebook. You can't erase it, get rid of it, and so on, and that has been a big controversy. Um, a movie then was recently made about um, the uh, Mark uh, Zucker Zuckerberg, who is the founder of Facebook, and um, in that movie it's called The Social Network. Um, there is a not so good uh, um, de depiction of Mr. Zuckerberg um, who has claimed that he invented Facebook but it says that Mr. Zuckerberg might have been inspired to create Facebook from a site called uh, the Harvard Connection which was a, at Harvard University, one of the best universities in the world um, and the people at Harvard Connection actually hired Mr. Zuckerberg to write code uh, for the site. Uh, he didn't complete the job and said um, he created a similar site called the Facebook and launched it secretly. Um, that's been quite embarrassing for uh, Facebook and uh, when the movie uh, was about to come out, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg did something very interesting. And what he did was he basically gave money to um, this New, New Jersey um, for a, a hundred million dollar um, donation to the on the Oprah show and it was announced on the same day that the social network opened at the New York uh, Film Festival. So there was a big discussion as to whether uh, he had given the hundred million dollars to make up for um, some of the bad things that uh, have been coming out about uh, Facebook and about Mr. Zuckerberg and also to take attention away from uh, the release of the movie. Um, so that's uh, kind of a big question that has been uh, going on. Mark Zuckerberg just announced that he is going to be giving a hundred million dollar grant to uh, the Newark Public Schools and I, I think this is so fascinating because last week, um, Cory Booker, calling the mayor of uh, Newark, Tory called and said, Mark did not want to make this announcement public, that he wanted it to be anonymous. And I said, is he crazy? <laughs> <laughs> is he crazy? We, he, he needs to make this public. Well, let me put it this way. A lot of people uh, think that uh, this was one of those examples of a company uh, basically doing something that is not very popular and then trying to fix that problem by giving money. Um, the oil companies have always done that, you know, when there are big oil spills and so on, then they donate money for um, schools and for a new health center in some village in Africa or Latin America where the oil spill occurred. Um, insurance companies, when they suddenly get caught, uh, doing something that the public doesn't like, they, uh, you know, give money for cancer or, you know, whatever. So there is a lot of 
um, discussion and some cynicism about why corporations uh, donate money, give money, set up programs, and whether it is directly connected to the fact that they um, have been doing some things that get them very bad publicity and therefore requires them to quickly make up uh, by doing something very nice and very good. Uh, I leave it up to you to decide um, whether that's the case or whether companies really are nice and feel good in their heart and want to do uh, good things for people. So uh, take a look at that and, uh, and make up your own mind and think about it. Stefan Schmidt.